Hey, how is it going? Today, I'm going to show you how you can send Telegram messages to yourself from a C Sharp program. All you need to do is to follow these four steps. They're very simple to follow. However, in this video, I'm just going to focus on step number four. That means you have to follow step one, two, three on your own. But don't worry, they're very simple to follow. Now, for step number four, all we need to do is to click on this link. Let's do it. Now, on this page, you'll find all the source code you need. This is all the source code you need. So now, let's copy the source code. All right, let's copy the source code. And paste it in Visual Studio. Let's paste it there. Right? Now, in case you don't know how to create this project, let me show you how. Just click on File, New, Project. And then on the left hand side, you choose Visual C. In the middle, you choose Console Application. And then you say OK. All right. Now back to the source code. In this file, all you need to do is to change one line. That is line number 18. On this line, you'll find two parameters. The first parameter is the destination number. That is the number you want to send the message to. In this case, it's going to be your number. Not my number, but your number. And don't forget to include your country code at the very beginning of the number. So let's say if you are from India, the country code is going to be 91. So in that case, you will probably type in something like this. 91 followed by your local number. I mean your local WhatsApp number. By the way, I'm just making this up. So don't use this number. Use your own number. Now for the second parameter, you specify the content of the message there. So for now, I'm going to type in something like C sharp is a lot of fun. All right. OK, now before I run the program, there is one more thing I need to do. I need to add reference to the project. And this is how you do it. Now I right click on the project. All right. Not this one. OK, not the solution, but right click on the project. So right click. Add. Reference. Now, on the left hand side, you choose framework. And then we scroll to the very end and look for this guy system web extensions. You check that. All right. And then you say OK. All right. Now, we're ready to run the program to see what happens. Now, to run the program, all we need to do is to click on this Start button. Let's do it now. All right. Now, the message has arrived. See? C Sharp is a lot of fun. If you also want to have some fun, give it a try for yourself. I'll see you next time.